hello students today we will learn that what is a specific speed and what is its significant i will not talk about that how this formula is derived i will talk about that what is its particular significance for what purpose it is see specific speed of hydraulic turbine are of two types either it could be dimensionless specific speed or it could be dimensioned specific speed so over the left hand side i have written the formula of dimensionless specific speed that is ns equals to n root p upon root rho gh to the power 5 by 4 over here n is in rpm p is power in kilowatt rho is the density of fluid used generally hydraulic turbine the fluid used is water so here it is density of water and g is the acceleration due to gravity and h is the head available in meter so in case over these various variables we put the dimensions then we will get no dimension so this is dimensionless specific speed now since over here rho is the density of water and which doesn't changes suppose some river is there and it is having containing uh, water then since the density of water doesn't changes much even with temperature the change is very small so we can remove this rho as well as acceleration due to gravity is always 9.8 meter per second square that also we can remove so in case this density and acceleration due to gravity is removed from this formula then we get dimensioned specific speed whose formula is ns equals to n root p upon h to the power 5.4 and over here once again n is in rpm p is power in kilowatt and h is the head available of water in meter now what is the significance of this specific speed see suppose there is a hydroelectric project and we want to implant a turbine so hydraulic turbine commonly used hydraulic turbines are pelton wheel with its various forms and transistor turbine and kaplan turbine so over the particular hydroelectric power project site which type of turbine is to be implanted for that deciding that thing this specific speed is having great importance this is a very important parameter in deciding that which type of turbine is to be implanted how let's know that see over the site where hydroelectric where hydraulic turbine is to be implanted implanting the big turbine and then checking out that in which case it is most efficient means implanting the big turbine over the site and by checking that uh, uh, by altering the rpm by altering the power by altering uh, uh, we know this thing that over the real site altering the head of water is a difficult task because head available by water is due to the flowing river and we cannot change the head of entire river it is like that therefore over the real site implanting the big turbine and then finding out that in which conditions it is most efficient is a difficult task now the prudent way is that in the laboratory make the small model of that particular type of turbine for example suppose pelton wheel with single jet and it is to be found that in which case it is most efficient so keep this thing in mind that efficiency of pelton wheel and not only pelton wheel all the types of hydraulic turbine depends upon that what is the specific speed of that turbine for example in the laboratory small model of pelton wheel with single jet is taken and it is found that with varying specific speeds specific speed is found by altering the rpm by altering the power and by altering the head because in the laboratory it is easy to alter these variables so by altering these variables we will get different different specific speed now it is found in laboratory that in which specific speed range the particular type of turbine is most efficient for example pelton wheel with single jet in case tested in laboratory then it is found that in case specific speed is between 8.5 to 30 then it is having maximum efficiency range similarly in the laboratory suppose small model of pelton wheel with multi jet is taken and then again same exercise is done means altering these parameters n p and h and then different different uh, uh, values of uh, specific speed is found and a graph is plotted between efficiency and specific speed and then it is found that in which specific speed range the particular type of turbine is most efficient then it is found that a uh, pelton wheel with multi jet is there multi jet means having many nozzles in single jet means having one single nozzle of water but multi jet means having ma many nozzles okay so it is found that pelton wheel with multi jet 
is there then the specific speed range in which it is most efficient is 30 to 51 similarly the same experiment could be done with francis turbine in laboratory by making a small model and again by altering these parameters to get different different specific speed and then finding that in which specific speed range it is most efficient then it is found that francis turbine having a specific speed range between 51 to 255 then it is most efficient it is like this same thing is done by kaplan turbine so in this table i am showing you the various ranges of specific speed in which the particular type of turbine is most efficient for pelton wheel with single jet the specific speed range between 8 to 30 it is most efficient similarly pelton wheel with multi jet the range is 30 to 51 the pelton the francis turbine the range is between 51 to 255 in which it is most efficient and for kaplan turbine the specific speed range is 255 to 860 in which it is most efficient now how to determine that which type of turbine is to be selected for a particular hydroelectric power plant project it could be clear by the following example suppose there is a city in which there is an hydroelectric generation potential available means some point is there over where hydroelectric power plant can be established over there suppose the head of water is 25 meters okay now for that city the requirement of power is 7200 kilowatt means in case the hydroelectric power plant is established then the required power is 7200 kilowatt and the required rpm by the rotor of the machine is 200 okay now i want to find out that which type of turbine i should select simple we know a specific speed formula dimensioned specific speed formula is ns equals to n root p upon h to the power 5 by 4 so n is in rpm p is in kilowatt h is in meter so putting the values putting in place of n 200 in place of p 7200 and in place of h putting 25 i am getting the number that is the specific speed that is 308. Five four. So now I will find out that this number, this specific speed number, is in which range. So in the table we can see that 308 is between 255 to 860. So in this range, Kaplan turbine is most efficient. So I must select Kaplan turbine for that particular hydroelectric power plant site. Now one more example. Suppose the power required for the same site, the power required would have been 7225 kilowatt. So in place of 7200, I am putting 7225 kilowatt and the RPM required would have been 135. So in place of 200, I am keeping 135 and head is same because it is same site. So uh, in place of H, it is 25. So in this case, I am finding the number, the specific speed to be 205.28. Now again I will find out that it is falling in which range. So over here we can see that between 51 to 255 this 205 is falling. Therefore for that case Francis turbine is most efficient. So I will select Francis turbine. So hope you would have understood. Once more I will like to brief it that remember that is uh, the efficiency of any hydraulic turbine greatly depends upon what is the specific speed of turbine by which it is running. The specific speed is given by formula n root p upon h to the power 5 by 4 here as in, in rpm p is in kilowatt and h is in meter okay now in the laboratory a small model of particular type of hydraulic turbine is taken and by altering these variables n p and h different magnitudes of specific speed is found and it is checked that in which specific speed range the particular type of machine is most efficient. So for the case of Pelton wheel with single jet, the range is 8.5 to 30 in which it is most efficient. Similarly, the experiment is done with small models of all sorts of turbines and then the data is collected then that in which specific speed range that particular type of machine is most efficient. Over here I am showing some of them. Then to find out that at a particular point what type of turbine is to be selected it is found that what is the required specific speed over that point for example over here suppose some uh, uh, river is there and some hydroelectric power plant project is to be established over there the head available is 25 meter and the required power is 7200 kilowatt and required rpm is 200 then putting all these in specific speed formula the number coming out is 308.54 now it is found 
that in which range it is falling it is falling is 255 to 860 so kaplan turbine must be selected for this particular condition similarly one more example i am showing that in case required rpm is 135 required power is 7225 kilowatt and head is suppose same then i am getting specific speed to be 205.28 so therefore for that case it is falling between 51 to 255 so francis turbine is to be selected so actually this thing is the similarity principle that in case in the laboratory the uh, specific speed range the particular specific speed range for a particular type of machine is given maximum efficiency then in case the same type of machine is implanted over the actual site which is called as the prototype then in the same specific speed range it will also give the maximum efficiency this is the principle of this context so hope you would have understood the significance of specific speed of hydraulic turbine thank you